Hello and welcome to Computer Class. My name is Dave and today we're talking about Microsoft Word tables. So open up Microsoft Word and uh, create this layout right here. What I did actually was I typed the word location, pressed tab a few times, and then um, moved over to this section right here, typed the word room type, uh, tabbed over a couple more times, um, and then price per night, and then price per week, and so on. And I went all the way down and got these columns. That's how I did that. Okay. Then what I want you to do is uh, drag over all the information or highlight it, press insert, and then table. Now you'll notice you can um, insert a table here. And if I press boom like that, it just drops everything into a table. So that's kind of how you get information into a table really quickly. And um, what's nice about this is it immediately opens two tabs that are hidden. The first is table design. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab that and drop it down. And the second is layout. And it has to do with adding things to the table. Okay. So under table design, what I want you to do is go down and grab this purple one. And notice it kind of made the Marriott hotel price uh, a little bit shaded. So I'm going to back to home and give that text white. And so it creates this nice um, presentation for uh, information. And the way that you always get these two tabs to show back up is if you just double click into the table, it obviously, or if you highlight any information in the table, that's how you interact with it. Okay. So I, well, as long as I'm in the table, these two tabs show up. Okay. So first off, off the bat, I can highlight and do um, some, some border styles if I want to. I can do border lines um, for different things. I can do shading if I wanted to uh, shade a certain cell. Like let's say I wanted to highlight the fact that this uh, king bed is only uh, $200 a night. Uh, you know, do some shading and let's do it yellow. Okay. So you can see how you can highlight information or maybe I could do the whole row if you will. All right. So shading information. There we go. So it actually does the whole, uh, whatever you have highlighted, if you will. All right. Then if you go to the layout tab, if you want to add more information, you can insert things below left, right. Um, and here's an interesting one. You can split cells or split a table, uh, or you can combine cells as well. But, uh, one thing I was always doing when I was uh, trying to split the table is I was highlighting, um, and that doesn't work for splitting the table. If you just click in the row you want to uh, split things, then you hit the uh, split table button. It actually will break it at that location. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control Z and go back just a second. Again, I clicked in the uh, cell place that I wanted to split, and then I split the table. And that kind of makes this uh, two-part section to the table, almost like a header above everything, and then a nice layout to it um, so that you can you can do stuff with it. Okay, You can uh, draw within the table, like you could highlight something, or you could just draw some sort of line. It's really not easy to do, <laughs> but you could do something uh, with the drawing section here. Um, you can erase things. You can click on table properties and you can align things center, right, left, which you can also do right here if you wanted to uh, align stuff uh, maybe more in the center there or, or down. So you can you can do some uh, text direction. You can change the text direction. You want to turn it sideways. Um, so that's interesting. You can also um, change the cell margins, which is helpful if you have something that you need to look made to make it to look a little better, um, and then of course you can delete um, sections of the cell as well. Now something else to be noted. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning here. Okay, right where I have no table. If I highlight all of this, I can go to insert again where you would insert a table, and I can use an Excel spreadsheet. OK. And technically, it doesn't put the information in there, but you could, which I forgot to do the. Let me go back just one second. I would highlight all of this and copy it. OK, so I could highlight all of this and copy it and then hit the Excel spreadsheet and then drop it all in. 
to the spreadsheet. There we go. Did it correctly this time. Um, and then you would actually have um, an Excel spreadsheet, which you could use formula-based equations on this and uh, interact with it. And so it would be kind of a live spreadsheet within your Word document, which is really helpful. So now I can just double click this, bring it up, put in a formula and um, and do that as well. That's, that's another way of inserting a, uh, obviously this doesn't look very good. I'd have to kind of fix it in uh, Excel right over here. I'd have to give it some room, you know, like stretch out the columns a little bit and make everything work. But you get the idea. It would be a way to do calculations and things. Uh, another way to insert a, um, a table is just simply to do uh, quick tables. So they've got all these options here to where I could do, um, let's see, uh, like a calendar, for instance. I could just insert that really fast, and it does the month of May. And, uh, you know, then, of course, I could change the options there. Uh, then there is, oops, let me go back. There is uh, inserting a table like this. You just kind of click and drag over a section. So if I wanted uh, four down, uh, four across and three down, I could just create a table in and of itself. And then I could do my own styling um, without using this quick styles, if you will. Or I could apply that if I wanted to afterwards. So again, another way of doing it, if I don't already have information in there, uh, so you don't have to type the information like I did ahead of time is what I'm basically trying to say. You, there are multiple ways to lay out. You could copy the information from another location, drop it into an Excel spreadsheet, uh, link in those, inf those different types of things as you go. So it's kind of a really robust way of presenting data. And I think if you put something in a table, someone is going to appreciate it better than if you just listed it which is what a lot of people do. It makes your documents look more brilliant and it makes them look more professional. And that's what you're going for if you're using Word anyway. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. Hopefully you've liked the video at this point. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. And as always, I will see you in the next video.